Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss class and object in Java. Before starts today's session, let us try to recall what have we discussed in our last session. How to execute Java program using VS Code. How to use terminal in VS Code. How to add extensions to VS Code. Can we execute C, C++ and Python code? using vs code after watching this video you will be able to give the answer for these questions what is class what is object when memory is allocated to your program what do we use to store properties of objects what do we use to implement behavior of objects before discussing the actual definitions of the class and objects Let us try to take a simple example for the better understanding of the concept. Let us say we have two students, Ramu and Raju. Every student has some properties like hall ticket number and height. So in this example, the Ramu's hall ticket number is five zero one, and the height of the Ramu is five feet. And every student can do some actions. Like read and write, so Ramu can read and write. In the same way, the student Raju has also some properties, and he can do some actions. How the Ramu has hall ticket number and height? The hall ticket number of the Raju is six zero one, and height of the Raju is six. As Raju is also a student, he can read and write. Create a unit where I want to place the common properties of the two students. So here the common properties of the students are hall ticket number and height. What are the common actions can be done by the two students or read and write? Ramu can have these properties and actions. Raju also have these properties and actions. So if we write the common properties as a single unit, that is called as a class. we can define a class as a class is a collection of common properties and actions of the objects now i am giving a name to this class is student student is my class name because every student has this properties raju and ramu are also students so in this case ramu and raju are called objects where object is a instance of a class what are the properties and behavior of the objects we have we are writing a single unit where we have the common properties and behavior of the all the objects that is called as a class try to define now what is a class in java a class is a collection of common behavior or actions and common properties Our attributes are characteristics of the objects. That is what we have seen in the previous slide. Class is a blueprint or a template for an object. Once a class is defined, you can create any number of the objects as per your requirements, and every object has those properties and behaviors. So when you create a class. class doesn't occupy memory because it is just like a template we use variables to store the properties of the objects every object has some properties and some behaviors so if you want to store those properties like hall ticket number and height we use some variables in the program then if you want to implement the behavior or actions of the objects we need to implement methods in the program a class is a group of variables of different data types and a group of methods for every object memory will be created separately how many objects you created that many separated memory locations will be allocated to your program then how to create the class this is the syntax to create the class in java first we need to write the keyword class space you must give the class name you need to give an appropriate class name 
you must create a block this is called class this is a starting point of the class and ending point of the class within this class you need to create variables and methods we use instance variables to store the properties of an object what is variable is already covered in the previous video and what is instance variable what is static variable will be covered in the coming video observe here we are using instance variables to store the properties of a object and we are using methods to store the actions of the objects you can take how many variables you want as per your requirement but in our example i have taken two properties only and two actions but as per your requirement you can take any number of the instance variables to store the properties of the objects you can take any number of the methods to implement the actions of the objects what is method how to write the method will be covered in the coming videos now we are focusing how to create the class only object is anything which has physical existence in the world if you take a table fan all are called an objects because everything has a physical existence one object should be distinguished from the other object if you observe our example we have taken two objects that is ramu and raju ramu is completely different from raju because those are two different students those are distinguishable creating an object is compulsory to make use of members of a class as we have seen in our class we have taken variables and methods if you want to use those variables and methods you must create the object for that class without creating the class you cannot use any members of the class every object has some properties and behaviors as we have seen already if you create a object for a particular class that object will get all the instance variables and methods of that class nothing but the object will get properties and behavior of that class see the syntax how to create the object in java first we need to write class name to which class you want to create the object and you need to write the object name this is an identifier concept already we have seen what is identifier what are the rules we need to follow to create the identifier according to those rules you need to give a valid name assignment new class name suppose if you want to create the object ramu to the class student as per our example what we need to write class name student ramu is object name assignment new class name if you write this statement internally the object ramu is created to your class student new is a keyword or operator that is used to create the object so here ramu is actually a variable student is a class ramu is a variable of that class which give the reference to this created object focus on the right hand side of the assignment operator we have new student when the program is being executed with help of this new student a object will be created for the class student for that created object the variable ramu is giving the reference then check your knowledge what have you learned from this video what is class what is object when memory is allocated to your program what do we use to store properties of objects what do we use to implement behavior of objects if this video is useful to you subscribe the channel watch the videos like and share it thank you